If you have any debt buyer collection on your credit report, then you definitely want to pay attention because I'm going to go over again exactly how to remove it. And this is a perfect example. And this is actually how I removed this account for this client. Now, this is actually um, a breakdown that I'm doing that's going into a course that I'm putting out this weekend. But as far as this specific account, this might be exactly what you are seeing on your credit report as well, okay? So number one, let's go and mark this up. It is super, super simple. First of all, why is their payment history saying this is a charge off? This is LVNV. Guess what? They are a debt collector and that doesn't belong on there. Number two, take a look at the fact that there is zero notice of dispute. This account was disputed, okay? Now, FCRA 623A3 and FDCPA 8078 both require that within 30 days that notice of dispute is put on there and it was not. Number three, late 120 days. Okay, this thing is just wrought with inaccuracies and violations. Okay, so if you want to remove your debt collector accounts from your credit report or from your clients, then these are the things that you should be looking for. Okay, and these are the things that I use to remove these all the time. Otherwise, use the link at the top of your screen, schedule a call with me, and I'll see if I can do it for you. But this is always going to follow the same exact process. If you want to know what it is that you should be saying when you go and remove this, it's really, really simple. Delete this account for violation or for inaccuracy, depending on which of these elements you're disputing, because, and then let's just say the payment history reflects charge off, charge off, charge off, charge off, charge off, even though this is a collection, or activity after the close date, even though this is a collection, or a status of late 120 days, even though this is a collection, or a past due of um, $913, that was another one, even though this is a collection and is by default past due, or for the failure to enter the required notice of dispute by the date that they received it, plus 30 days. You have so much to work with. And if you want to know more about how to structure your letter, how to structure your dispute reasons to get those results and get your credit score where it needs to be, then 1,200 videos going back nine years right here on my channel. Or you're going to want to subscribe so that you're notified when I put that course out. But as far as that goes, that is it for today. Have a great weekend. I will see you later or I will see you tomorrow.